So here is a quick tutorial on how to get a Twitter bird in your email signature. Some people have been asking how do I have this icon in my email signature. So the way that we're going to do that is make sure that you're logged into Gmail like I am now. You're going to go up in the upper right hand corner and select the gear and select settings. Once this page comes up, you'll want to scroll to the bottom where you'll see signature. If it's not already selected, choose choose the uh, the button here to, to engage your signature. And here's all my pertinent information, and here you'll see that icon. So how do we get that? Uh, the method is to insert an image. And you'll get this box, and it'll ask for an image URL. So the question is, how do we find the image URL? What we want to do is open up a new tab and do a Google image search on Twitter. Excuse me, the Twitter bird icon. And we're going to use a couple, we want to select images and then maybe use a couple search tools on the size. You don't want a large one, so select icon. Another tool you may want to do is show sizes. And right here you'll see there's one that's uh, 44 by 35 pixels, which is a good size. So you can select that one. And once you see it here, that looks pretty good. And um, once you find your icon that you want, uh, you can not visit the page. Let's go back and try that one more time. Visit the image. And so there it is, right up in the uh, corner. And this is the URL. So let's select the URL, copy it, and let's go back to our signature. And uh, for my purpose, I'm going to just put it right up on the top here. So I made some room. I'm going to select Insert Image. I'm going to paste in the URL that we found. And if you do it right, the icon will show up appropriately. You want to select OK. And you want to select the image and click the link button. And the link is going to be to your Twitter URL uh, handle. So mine would be twitter.com slash Eric Snarek. You select OK. And it should have both the link and image information. And once you have it and you have it in the right spot the way you would want it, you can scroll to the bottom and save your changes. I'm not going to, but that's what you would do. I hope this helps.